important are call centers for Nigeria's strategic growth of ICT, for instance? Uh, well, I think the, um, it's critical for ICT growth. Uh, haven't achieved um, very, very uh, large uh, telephony uh, penetration. Uh, call centers uh, present an opportunity for service delivery companies uh, to uh, deliver their services more efficiently, uh, create jobs, uh, and uh, subsequently um, contribute to uh, signif significantly to right. contribute uh, to economic growth. And um, when you look at it in terms of outsourcing and offshoring, uh, Nigeria presents uh, a, a very big opportunity right. uh, as an off off offshoring destination. Uh, and that, that could um, significantly help uh, us um, develop the economy quite rapidly as an alternative uh, source. Okay, now we do uh, to, know that Nigeria has got a big um, limitation when it comes to infrastructure. Is there sufficient capacity on network lines existing in Nigeria to take on the high volumes of data that would be required through call centers? Um, well, the, I mean, that's kind of where the, the limitation is at the moment, but uh, I think those issues uh, will soon be a, a thing of the past uh, with the landing of um, international connectivity through Main One, who recently launched, and Glow, uh, Glow One, who uh, I, I believe are about completing the infrastructure. Uh, within the country, the telephony penetration is, uh, is, is quite high enough for, local, for the local market. Uh, but for the international market, uh, I think the limiting factor for now is, is connectivity. Okay, now we do know that, for instance, in other parts of the world where there's been a great uptake for call centers and business process outsourcing, one of the areas where it's been very difficult to make the transition is in the banking sector, especially to try to convince banks to transition uh, from service to sales. Now, Nigeria's economy is built around banking. It is the nucleus of this economy. What's the response to, of banks to call centers? Um, well, they have, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, half of them uh, have, have responded positively and recognized it as a, a very key tool for service delivery and most, more, more especially improving customer services delivery. Uh, however, most of them have chosen to uh, do it, do it in-house uh, on their own, uh, primarily because of data protection um, uh, in the country. Uh, some of the other banks are yet to uh, realize the mm. significant value uh, proposition that call centers mm. can, can present in, in, in a, a more efficient service delivery. But I think eventually, um, you know, they will uh, come right. to the party and, and realize how significant it is for improving service delivery in Nigeria. And what about the federal government? We've just recently heard of a, a package of about six billion naira uh, that was unveiled for the creation of emergency communication centers to be rolled out across the 36 states. The biggest challenge right now is SIM card registration, but basically a sense that the federal government wants to improve on its services to the people. Um, to what extent will call centers be part of these kinds of emergency communication centers? Uh, well, I think that is, uh, and that is a significant area where call centers can add value. Uh, we uh, in, in Consol have been working with the Lagos State Government for the last three years, uh, delivering um, what effectively is a, a 911 type service to Lagos State Government uh, using the 767112 short code. Uh, that has seen significant uh, improvement in the ability of the state government to deliver public services. Uh, because you uh, basically open up a, a simple channel for the public to access uh, those those services. And uh, I can quote uh, that in Lagos State, for example, we've, uh, we've been able to reduce crime rate by over 68 mm. percent uh, just by, um, you know, the, the creation of that right. ability for the, for the public to access the services. So right. uh, I think that right across the country uh, it will make significant inf right. impact once uh, the project uh, eventually takes off right. at federal, federal level across all states in Nigeria. 